We're going to build a simple part using the part design workbench, starting off in the Sketcher workbench. So just to identify the difference, look in the specification tree. You have the name of the part on the top, and then typically a second name to identify the structure. We'll use your student names for now. You should have an absolute axis. <clears throat> This geometrical set is actually supposed to be renamed to construction geometry, which I forgot to talk about in the videos following this. But you have to go to properties and rename this to construction geometry. And then you have a part body with a pad and a sketch to make that pad. <clears throat> Construction geometry would be things such as points, lines, and curves. Elements used to help make a part. In this case, the only thing we need for this part is a simple sketch and to extrude a solid from it, which would be called the pad feature. So we are currently in the part design workbench. If you look up here on the top left corner, we have the compass, and it tells me what workbench is currently active. Again, it says Katia part design. In Katia Part Design, that is the workbench that allows us to create solids. Down here below are features that we can use to make solids, and these are called the tabs. So you, certain tabs have different features. All these features apply to working on something making a solid. So when making a solid, you're going to be in the Part Design workbench. But before we can make that solid, we need to learn how to create sketches. So this exercise will be about creating sketches. If I go to uh, the tree here, you can see we have a sketch one and we have a pad one. Anytime I want to look at an existing sketch, I can double click it. So if I double click the existing sketch, it shows me how this profile was created and it shows me the current constraints identifying the size and shape of this and you can look on top we're in the sketcher workbench so throughout this exercise we're going to be jumping in and out of the sketcher and part design workbench when i exit out it takes me back to the part body the part body is where you create the 3d part the sketch is where you create the 2d profile and that profile is used to make a solid so in this exercise, you're going to start with creating a new part. We'll go to 3D and hit part design. And that's how you start a new part, which hopefully you've already covered. And we'll do a define in work object to make the part body the active feature in the specification tree that we want to work in, not the geometrical set. So this is your part body. This is the part body workbench. You're going to learn in the next demo about getting into the sketcher just real quickly, selecting on this profile, selecting this feature gets you into the sketch workbench. It now says sketcher up here. That is the workbench that you're currently working in on the top left corner. And again, to get out, I hit exit and that gets me out of the sketcher workbench. All right, watch the next demos to see what we're going to do and what we're going to learn and hopefully get you comfortable with the sketch workbench.